This video is going to show you how I paint my Space Wolf axes and I wanted the axes to be dark and yet at the same time have a kind of vibrance about them. Now to start off with I've already done a video showing how I paint the Space Wolf pelt so you can use that, that video as a reference for how to paint this part of the axe. And for the handle grip areas, I initially started with corn red. And then after that, I used Bugman Glow to paint into the recessed areas to give a little bit of extra detail. And when it was dry, Karaberg Crimson was applied to the red areas. And that dulls it down a little bit, but it also helps for the wash to sink into those recessed areas next I'm trying to keep the colors reasonably dark so for the metallic areas I've applied lead belcher and I didn't apply any additional highlights to these areas and afterwards no oil was applied and this helps to tone it down even further and where this small amount of gold has been painted I applied some Agrax Earthshade this helps to tarnish the gold for the initially for the entire axe head I used Scaven Blight Dinge and then for the blade parts of the axe I started off with using Rust Grey and a few areas to represent how light is reflecting off of the edges. And once it was dry, a fine line was applied with white scar. And the white scar was also used to pick out some of the sharper corners. Again, to emphasize how light is reflecting off of some of those, those uh, sharper parts of the blade. This next coat you can see I'm not applying to the actual blade part of the axe. I'm using it more for the center of the axe. I wanted to give it the look as though it's a power weapon. So I used Ultramar Blue and it was thinned down quite heavily with water just to give a very slight glaze. Next, Lothorn Blue was used in the same way, so it was, again, it was quite heavily watered down, so it will naturally want to sink into the recesses, and you can notice how it's particularly sinking in next to the claw symbol, which is in the center of the blade. And once again, the same thing has been done, only this time it's been done with White Scar, so the main thing to remember for doing this is you're really watering down those paints and having a gradual build up of the, of the colours. Now for the symbol which is on the centre of the blade. Initially, initially lead belcher was applied. Then by using the side of my brush iron breaker was applied next and again rune fang was used at the end and this gives it a really nice silvery look and this is the same colors as what i used for the skull symbols that are also on the backpack of the miniature now for the diamond that's in the very center of the blade i used a small amount of gold to go around the outside edge of the diamond and then i used upshapti bone to paint the actual diamond itself. Once this is dry, I use two coats of blood letter glaze onto the actual diamond. And when the diamond was, when it was all dry, I then applied a gloss varnish just to finish it off. Also remember to look at the finished miniature in the description below. If you like the video, remember to subscribe, click the notification bell, and also share the video with your friends.